Colorado scientists keep a close eye on a launch in Florida this morning as it tests a key component in the mission to send humans back to the moon. I'm Alan Janay. Great to have you with us. NASA did a test launch for the Orion spacecraft this morning. That spacecraft includes the capsule that would carry astronauts into space. Mackenzie O'Keefe is covering Colorado first. She joins us in the newsroom right now. And you were with those scientists for this morning's launch. And this is really key to the moon and maybe Mars, right? It is, Alan. It was so exciting today. Now, these Colorado engineers, they're really helping to pave the way for NASA to get people back on the moon. And of course, like you said, maybe Mars one day. That's something they're really looking forward to. So today's test was critical because it deals with making sure that those astronauts are safe. Two, one, ignition. As the Orion test spacecraft took flight, a room of Lockheed Martin employees went silent. They're watching the test of the Orion abort system. It was designed and built by these Colorado engineers to protect the next group of astronauts who will be sent into space. This is a major milestone on the program to make sure that we can keep our crew safe. Here's how the system works. On the spacecraft, there's a module that will carry four astronauts on their next mission to the moon. The abort system will be able to safely detach from the spacecraft if the launch doesn't go as planned. Launch abort system's only purpose is to pull a crew away from an exploding rocket are a bad day on the way to orbit. As this test craft made its way to 40,000 feet, the highest stress point of a launch, the room filled with cheers as the crew module successfully separated from the rocket. We work long hours, we work long days, and um, you know when we do something like this and we see it all come together, it's just so exhilarating and exciting. It just reminds us as to why we do this. A Colorado company helping to change the way we explore space. It's another step on the road to launching humans into deep space. So they next, they'll get all of the data back from this test launch today, and that will really show them what these astronauts could face if they ever have to use this abort system. Now, that actually includes enduring G-forces somewhere between 12 and 13 G, which they say is absolutely incredible. But again, the success of this morning's test means they will be safe. We're live here in Denver. Mackenzie O'Keefe covering Colorado First. Wow.